this is a space brief. O exalted one, whose intellectual light shines brighter than a hypernova, the Edison of our time, I humbly submit for your consideration this question. Won't there be a lot of radiation in empty space on the way to Mars? A whole lot. Your spaceship is made of stainless steel, an excellent material in many respects, but not for radiation shielding. When metals are struck by cosmic radiation, which are ultra-high-speed atomic nuclei, they interact with a metal and something called the Bromstrahlung effect, or breaking radiation. As the high-speed particle is slowed by the metal, it generates large amounts of secondary radiation. This secondary radiation includes X-rays, but much worse, neutron radiation. The health effect on the human body of neutron radiation is devastating. They'll get baked. No, not like that. Like this. Combine this with eight months of zero-gravity travel with the resultant muscle atrophy and bone loss, and your colonists will not be arriving ready to work. You need to shield your early colonists. All of them need to be over the age of at least 45, by the way, with no plans for future children. They can go and build the shielded infrastructure that will be necessary for young men and women and children to travel to the Red Planet. Now, hydrogen is an excellent shield. The lighter an atom is, the better it absorbs the incoming radiation without creating secondary radiation. But you don't have liquid hydrogen in your current design. Water is an excellent shield because it has hydrogen. Water shielding is not practical for your current design because of mass. You know what else has lots of hydrogen? Methane. Now you will need methane to land on Mars. Would it be possible to pump the methane from the reserve tanks into a double hull around the habitation areas? Then spin the ship on its long axis to cause a gravity gradient to the walls? This will allow your liquid methane to be pumped in and out of the double hull easily and reduce eulage and give a little gravity for showering, toilets, etc especially for the newbies. You can even make a sofa bed like this, and it works in either orientation. Just a few thoughts for your consideration, exalted one. Live long and prosper. Sincerely. This has been a Space Brief. Thank you for listening.